Hello, child of God. It is very likely that you are viewing this video because some of your programs just will not work and you receive a message similar to this one. It's not rocket science. You can fix the problem without downloading anyone's fixer file from the internet. I usually avoid downloading a free fix-it file from any unknown website. That free file could be malware that takes control of my computer for the purpose of robbing me. And like I said, it's just not rocket science. You can replace the missing file yourself with just a few basic computer skills. The missing file is a dynamic link library, or DLL file. The simplest way to explain the file, it's like a bridge between your program and the CPU of your computer. At the moment, your bridge is out, so we're just going to put the bridge back. It is likely that you use CC Cleaner or some malware program or SpyBot, and it gobbled up that program by mistake, not recognizing that you needed it. I'm posting all this information in the description below, so you can just highlight and print the instructions. No need to make notes or struggle. So now I'm just going to show you your basic goal and expect you to print out and follow the instructions and make it happen. It'll be fun. Your first goal in this repair is to find a copy of the missing DLL file, not download it. You can probably find an old copy of the file somewhere on your own computer. If you do not find one on your computer, then copy it from someone else's computer. I copied and used one from my wife's computer. It worked fine. But I also later found over 50 copies on my own computer. If you're using Windows 8, just click the little file folder icon at the bottom of your desktop page and then click Local Disk C. Locate the search input tool at the upper right of the page and type in msvcp71.dll. Press Enter. You are now searching for that file anywhere on your C drive. You should have many search results. Just choose a recent copy and left click your mouse on that search result. Right click the open file location for that particular search result. Left click and copy the highlighted file. Check and make sure that you're actually copying the correct msbcp71.dll file. Then you exit the file explorer again. Click the little File Explorer icon at the bottom of your desktop page. Then click Local Disk C. Click the Windows folder to open the Windows folder. Click the System32 folder to open that folder. Go all the way to the bottom of the System32 folder. Left click somewhere away from the other files and folders. Then paste your msvcp71.dll file. You don't want it to end up into any other folder or anything. It's at the right place. That's why you're going away from the other files and folders and pasting it. This will fix many of your Windows errors concerning that particular missing DLL file. Since the MSV CP71.DLL was missing from my Sony SoundForge audio program, I also had to paste a copy of that same file in my Sony SoundForge program folder. It then worked beautifully. Exit the File Explorer. Again, you click the little File Explorer icon at the bottom of your desktop page. Then click Local Disk C. Left click and open the Program Files or the Program Files 86. Open your particular program, whatever it is. Go all the way to the bottom of the program. Left click somewhere away from the other files and folders. Then paste your DLL file. Exit the File Explorer, reboot your computer, and test your programs. It should be working. For Windows 7, Vista, XP, and the other Windows programs, just read the instructions below. Your mouse clicks are in a little different places, but the results will be the same. You'll be copying the DLL file from your computer, and you'll be pasting it inside of the folder that you need it at. I hope you'll save this video as one of your favorites. And then come back and give me a thumbs up or thumbs down, a comment. Tell me how it worked for you. May God bless you. Peace be unto you and your house.